hey guys I'm going to show you this magic here um, where you have geo that is boolean geo automatically converted to sub D so as you can see all this is non-destructive I can come in and select all my boolean operations edit it everything's cool it has the support loops and if you want to know how I do this, here we go. So with the cube, the default cube, bear in mind I have my own custom theme. It's pretty much the same, just rearranged and the colors, so don't worry too much about that. Cool, so we have the cube. We need to come in, select remesh as a modifier. That will remesh -re the cube. We click on sharp to keep the sharp edges. Smooth shading. Now, this is cool because what we can now do if we come and for example we add a cube scale that cube select this boolean it out as you can see it's keeping the geo what we now need is we want to have support edges so to have the support edges it's actually quite simple all we need to do is select the original cube Go to add another modifier, add a bevel modifier. And now with the better mod bevel modifier selected, I will hide these just so I can see what's going on with the bevel. And as you can see here, what we need to do is we need to add another segment and then we need to bring the profile all the way to one. So that's basically your support loops. Now, if we reactivate everything so we can see what's going on, as you can see, it's added a support loop around where our Boolean operation is taking place. So we can move this around. The support loops are still there. What the next thing we want to do is if we look at this here, we probably want to change this bevel. So we select this, go back to bevel, and we want to change the, the milter type to patch just to make it a bit cleaner and we have clamp overlap on that's quite important because if we take that off what happens is if we now bring that bevel up you, you can see it will over overlay the geo and we don't really want that so just put clamp overlap on we can then do that safely great so now what's cool is we can add a subdivision modifier so selecting the cube I will press control two for two and that has a subdivision modifier so now we can go in and we can edit everything around and the support loops are staying there we can come in we can you know we can bevel this as you can see it's looking good it's looking nice real nice and this is really cool and then once you start you know with hops and box cutter this can go it's just such a nice little workflow to, de to design like small pieces in sub d right because if i select box cutter i can come in select cut come in and just start chopping away okay perfect so as you can see what's happened here i've tried to do another boolean and it's gone crazy and the reason that's happened is because the subdivision has been it's pushed the subdivision up here when it shouldn't be up there so the what the, be, the best way to get around this is whenever you want to make cuts it's probably best to deactivate subdivision or just delete it so if i delete this subdivision it will come back and now i have access to that um boolean operation that I, I i done and i can come in and i can cut again so if i select this i can cut down Let's activate wireframe so we can see what's happening. I can, you know, come in, cut, bevel, I can also, you know, you can you can go crazy basically, cut all the way through, and you can see it's keeping the edge loops. Now if I go back and I will add the add the subdivision again, this looks a bit janky, so the best way to get around that would be on your bevel make sure it's not 30 make it 70 and nice 
this here is just basically because of our if we come back it's part of this geo so now we can move this across yes yeah, non-destructive you got <laughs> clean topology it's like a little magic trick right um, where this kind of starts to fall apart is with cylinders however I have found a way that kind of makes cylinders work so let's let's add for example a cylinder to the top here and you'll see the problem so remember to remove the subdivision I will I use hops and if you don't use hard hops and box cutter I would recommend getting it because if you're going to be working with booleans it's just so much quicker than doing it a vanilla blender way you know instead of adding a shape and da 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 you can just click box cutter press D now I'll go to my circle and check this out so oh yeah I want to add not subtract so I'll go to join now if I draw out a cylinder here you see what happens this looks all weird right and the reason that is is because the cylinder is like the size of this geo there needs to be more geo here so the best way to do it would either be to make it really small and that still doesn't work if you made it really big it starts to work so what you want to do is you want to come to your remesh and here on your remesh settings you basically need more geo so if we start pumping this up a bit mm, not to six let's go to four this is cool because you can come in here and experiment on your mesh and see what works but now it should work and there we go and if we come in and let's select this and subdivide it again see it's looking good right it's looking nice so then you can again you can come in if we select this we can it's all non-destructive so I can come in and now I can let's cut a, a hole in here so I select this I go back to my box cutter I press D I want to cut circle use my snaps again we have the subdivision selected so right click remove the subdivision let's try that again this isn't exactly straight and this is another good example of what's going on here so we've done this boolean and as you can see this does not look right so what we need to do is we need to bring that boolean back select it scale it down because again there's not enough geo right so you've got to understand how this works it's kind of like it needs space to to do these calculations and, and construct this geo so it's a bit finicky but it can be useful this technique and it is it is like magic really so okay that will do now we unselect this I will hide that so it's not in the way and add the, sub, the subdivision surface yeah I mean this one here is not the best example to be honest I think if I come in you can you can play with this until you kind of get something that you're happy with it's really cool um, let's do a couple more cuts and then and then that will be it but I think you get the idea and I think you can see why this is quite a powerful technique to build stuff really um, if you need to build shapes and subdivision for whatever surface you can do it quite nicely with this We've, we have the subdivision still selected so delete that and this is something I'm keeping all this in without editing it just so you can you guys can kind of understand when you have the problems as well what's actually going on um, do I want to add here or should I yeah go on in. and then bevel G to move up Let's have a look it's good you see it's got the support loops everything's good let's come in the cut this time cut bevel do kind of like a cham chamfer bevel instead of a smooth bevel yeah something like that space as you can see you can you can you can get quite 
you can go quite detailed with with this and it is pretty crazy um let's do a big cut here and that's the good thing like sometimes with box cutter you can just have fun cutting away and just experimenting with shapes and seeing what happens okay and yeah i mean let's let's check this out what it looks like now with subdivision cool and looks good right pretty pretty crazy technique i mean to do this shape traditionally would take forever basically in sub d so here's a, a nice technique um what you can also do a little trick i i i've learned sometimes because you have clamp overlap on you can't really change the bevels too far right there's a limit as to what you can do with the bevels and sometimes you might just want it more smooth for like a i don't know maybe a hard surface bake and you want you want there just to be not such a tight edge so what i can do or what i've been doing is if you hit smooth corrective as a modifier so add modifier smooth corrective and then put only smooth and the repeat go up in 20s so 20 let's do 20 cool that's a bit smoother 40 there we go oh it's on 30 sorry do 50 and yeah you start to get more of a pro like beveled edge so to say let's check this in a different mat cap Ah, so we have a, a glitch here and is that the smoothest on that nope it could be the it's probably the boolean because we've cut a couple of booleans in since let's select this move it maybe scale it And what I would probably do, I would now go in. Again, this is I'm I'm keeping it unedited just so you guys can see how I fix these problems as well. So if we come back to the remesh and start playing with the scale, or let's pump it to six and that should fix it. Yep. Fixed. Now we add the subdivision again, and it's lovely. Enjoy, guys. If you like like these little tips and tricks like this, let me know because to be honest, I, I find these sort of videos quite fun to make, and there's there's always like a nice random thing to learn in Blender, right? And this will really help some people. So, yeah, thanks again. Take care. Bye.